Welcome back to Uncharted. This week we are exploring the land of 10,000 lakes. Stay tuned as we dive into one of my favorite fisheries and experience the food, culture, and scenery this state has to offer. Strap in as John, myself, and Weston Smith compete for a $1,000 donation on behalf of Lund and Mercury. Fish on. Full wax, baby. Oh, fish on. Oh, no, this is Uncharted Up North. What are we doing? What's going on? What lake is this? <laughs> Minnetonka day two, man. Minnetonka day two. ready. Hey, well, okay. Here we go, here we go. I gotta show you guys something. You wanna see an amazing feature about this boat? Here we go, watch this, John. What's up? A nine foot musky rod. <laughs> Sad gun. So there are musky on Lake Minnetonka. The hardest fighting freshwater fish, in my opinion. The hardest freshwater fish to catch. And Minnesota's most famous fish species. I feel like muskies are... Are muskies from Minnesota? They originate in the, the Minnesota River? Um, no, right here, Minnetonka. Yeah, they originate right here. Right here, yeah. 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 They, uh, the first muskie was caught right here 400 years ago. This is the last frontier for muskie. Yeah. Can't catch them anywhere else. It's just right here. Right here. <laughs> So we've got a musky rod. Weston is being, uh, here you go, buddy. Yeah, this, this, I'm in charge of this bad boy right here. Yeah. You're sure what is this? Do that? Thousand pound braid. Oh, no, this is great. <laughs> this is, I might need to reline this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm ready to get after it. Apparently, they're going to put me behind the wheel on this thing and uh, see if we can't get lucky. What do they say? The fish of a thousand casts or something? Ten thousand. Ten th yeah, ten thousand casts to catch one of these, apparently. I'm going to see if I can get it done in a few hundred, though, for you guys. So uh, I'm ready to rock and roll. Welcome back to day two. We are here on Minnetonka Lake, and we are gonna be going over the rules of today's challenge. It's a multi-species challenge. We're going after, there's pike, there's bass, largemouth and smallmouth, there's muskie in here, there's walleye. This is a series of lakes connected to one giant lake, bunch of species, and I'll let Jonathan, uh, hey Jonathan. Yes, Alex. What's up, man? Um, day two, you wanna read these the point system? Okay, cool. Day number two, here's the point system. Each fish counts as 50 points. Best three fish total length counts for 150 points. We also today, unlike yesterday, have some bonus points we can rack up. Three different fish species counts for 300 points. So in other words, if I catch a smallmouth, largemouth, then like a bluefin tuna, that counts as 300 points. The objective really here, it seems just looking at this card, is to catch as many species as you can. Biggest yeah, fish on a 10,000 fish product is 100 points. So if we catch one on the Yoda worm, the Sakoshi bug, shimmer, we get 100 points, so that's good. And uh, lastly, biggest fish on a Guggen Squad times Catchco product counts as 150 points. So we have a lot of points we can accumulate today. I really sucked it up yesterday, so I have to, uh, to figure my life out. I got too small, but the XR just was not my strong suit. And at the end of the day, it looks like we've got a hockey shootout. So let's make things happen here. Let's get working and make some, uh, make some fish bite. Let's get after it. This is the land of 10,000. 10,000 of them. And I think like 999 are counted for just this area. 900 of them. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. First cast? Yep, first cast. I'm on. Giant. Matt, going? I don't know, dude. It actually feels decent. Largey. Nice little nice largey. Large. Yeah, not a bad one. Hell yeah. Whoa. Okay. There we go. Look at that. First fish of the day on a little biospawn worm, plasma tail. Just drop shotting it. 
cold front came in, so maybe slowing things down is the answer. It's the first largemouth of uncharted Minnesota. Decent! Hell yeah. See you, Bubba. Look at you. RG. Fish number two. That last one we didn't measure, but the whole boat agreed that that was probably a 16 inch bass, so we're just gonna call it 16. I am gonna measure this guy, because total length is 150 points. Best total length, 150 points. Even though this guy I don't think is gonna help me out that much. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? I don't even think he's gonna go 12. Ah! We're gonna call him 11 inches. The bump doesn't even go big enough to how big he is. So I got an 11 and a 16. Thank you, little guy. You're doing really good. Thanks, my guy. Oh, no way. No way. That definitely <laughs> counts. That's fish number three, baby. And oh, he actually has a fish. Yeah, <laughs> it's the biggest fish on the 10,000 fish Sakoshi boat. <laughs> that is my third fish of the day, and it is a behemoth. We'll just call him five inches. I'm assuming we're going to catch something bigger than that, so that's good. Hey, I got three fish, though. We're moving. We're moving. Cast in spot number two, guys. I want to tell you all about the charity I am fighting for this week on Uncharted in the points battle. It is We Love Lake Street, helping to support small businesses and nonprofits in the area so they can continue serving the Minneapolis community, guys. So 100% of the funds are going to help rebuild Lake Street. That's why I'm going to be working hard in these competitions and the hockey tournament tonight, especially trying to rack up some points for these guys and get this charitable donation. We've got wind, we've got sun, the Guggen Squad Zinger is a perfect bait for that. This is a half ounce version, that way I can really chuck it in the wind. I'm gonna put a little swim bait on the back, a little saucy. Let's get saucy. There's one. I was gonna say, this looks sick right here, the rod. All right. Oh, mm. Mm. some size in the boat. It's a good one. <laughs> Get the net! Get the net! <laughs> there we go. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first fish of the day for myself. Look at that zinger down his throat on a windy bank. Beautiful. Beautiful. 18 incher. Wow. Incredible. Almost 18 and a half. 18 incher, mouth closed. Beautiful specimen there of a northern largemouth. Minnesota, they build them thick. 18 inch fish, probably three and a half pounds. Perfect, don't have a scale. That's my first one. My big girl. With the pattern we've kind of figured out right now, um, jumping from spot to spot has been key. We're fishing very neck down areas that connect the lakes together. Having that mercury on the back really allows me to jump from spot to spot, knowing that it's gonna start up every time, knowing that I have that reliability, as well as that fuel consumption. This thing burns so little gas. I took this boat all the way around Lake Michigan, great on gas, always reliable, and we're gonna go to the next spot. Hopefully we can keep on stacking up these points. We haven't seen any muskie. We've seen pike, we've seen largemouth. There's a lot of species we've got to cross off and only a little bit of time.
we go. I think I got me a little something. Oh, I switched over to the Zinger for a second there. Is it? Oh! Is that your first fish ever? Yeah, does that mean I have to grab it? Is that your first fish ever? First uh, I'm just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna. Hey, don't get that slime in my boat. What do I do? You gotta hold them, grab them, flip them. Don't let them, don't let them. I'm kidding. <laughs> I might have the link total right here. You got Oh my that. gosh. All right, well, so my first ever pike. It's better, it came on the zinger too. Okay. The zinger. Oh god dang, we might have the link. Let me break out the bump board. Let's see what we got here. She's a solid 22, folks. That's, that's it. All right, let's get this thing back in the water. Let's get some oil. Yes. yes! Oh my god, yes! Oh yes. no! I'll take it, I'll take it, oh my god. Oh. I cannot believe this hap just happened. You're not on three species. Not yet. Okay. This is good for a couple reasons, one of which I like bluegill. Second of all, if I get another fish species, this means I could bump up my score to 300 points. That doesn't always happen. Very rare. Thank you, oh my god. One more. Gotta eat the little Sakoshi bug. Sakoshi bug is not just for largemouth and smallmouth. Even the panties like it too. Panfish, not... Even the panfish like it. Okay, okay. That's two species for me then. I don't know. It's a little large, yeah? What is that on? Oh, nothing. Just a little swimmer. A little micro swim bait. All right, three inch with the net head. Bada bing, bada boom. First largey for me. Probably no need to uh, measure that one. Let's just get it right back. Why would you not measure that? Oh, dude, that is. Why would I know? Your best three. Best three. Oh, he was seven. I put him on the board. He was seven inches, guys. So I'm up to 29. Let's try and get. <laughs> um, I forgot I had a decent sized fish, and we didn't measure that little guy. But it's okay. I'm gonna get a couple more real quick on the swim bait. No. Okay, this is good though. We measured this guy. We'll take it. We'll take it. This is probably gonna bump my really small one. There we go. It's getting really intense right now. Coming down to the wire, I'm gonna measure this fish. Gotta get into your Weston. 10 inches, that bumps my five incher. So I have a 10, and 11, and a 16. Thank you. A little Sakoshi bug and a drop shot. It's different, but it works. I love it. Oh my God. Where is that at? I'll take it. Oh, the giant. It's all good, I got it. They are loving on the Sakoshi. Nothing big, but there's, there's definitely nothing. Can you, like I need a pipe. Pipe. No. no! Boston! Yes! Yes. Oh my god. Thank god. Oh. Thank god. That was the fish. That was 100% the fish. The fish. Well, I just lost like a 20 inch pike. I mean, yes. the biggest fish right now in the 10,000 fish lures is yours, right? Yeah, you have also. How, how big is it? Uh, 10, 11 inches. Okay. You would have also had. Um, my best five. Best five. Too. Oh my gosh. What was yeah, I and thinking? And all you need to do is catch like a bluegill or something like that. I right? just lost a pike. That would have won me the game. That thing definitely. Yeah, that thing did not look good. It's seen much better days. Come on. Come on. Good one. Oh my gosh, nice one. <laughs> Get in here, yes, let's go. Oh, I needed this. Sakoshi. This up to my biggest fish on the Sakoshi bug. Definitely probably over 12. Nice one, Peric. Thankfully lost that pike. That would have screwed everyone over. 13. We call it 13 or 14. That's it. If it doesn't touch 14, then it's 13. Okay, 13. <laughs> That's a 13 incher on the Sakoshi. Thank you. Whew. Let's go. 10 minutes left, y'all. Intensity is really creeping up. I'm trying to go with the drop shot just to snag another fish or two to get these last points on the board. Let's see what we can't put together. We are closing in on the boat ramp. Oh no, oh. snap me off, that was a musky. Was that, that a musky? That was a musky. That was a musky. Oh my god. He didn't have the bait though. He didn't even get the bait in his mouth though. He literally clean cut you. I saw the bait fall and I saw the musky go away. Wow. Yeah. That was a musky though, right? That was a musky, 100% yeah. musky. Yeah. That would have been ridiculous. Oh. 
Can't really do much with 12 pound. I knew, I knew there was something over here. I bet it was the same one that tapped me that yeah, first time. Okay. That right there is the fishing portion, complete. We're gonna go tally up the score right now back at the boat ramp, but I'm feeling pretty confident. I thought for sure he was gonna pull something out of nowhere, but we managed. And we almost caught a muskie. I hope the GoPros caught that. That was really wild. It was cool to at least see one of those guys. It wasn't a very big one, but still, muskie's a muskie. We just got off the water, headed to get some grub after a good days of fishing before that. We picked up some lutefisk, which is like a traditional Minnesota holiday, um, like staple food that you can eat. Unfortunately, when we picked this up, we didn't realize that you had to cook it. So this is what the punishment was supposed to be for today, whoever the loser is. Um, so instead, we opted for, um, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this, but essentially it's just canned fermented herring, which is, like also pretty good too, uh, from what I've heard. So yeah, we haven't of course tallied up the score yet because we still have one more challenge, that being on the ice at hockey, um, hockey challenge, and uh, see who has to scarf this down. Pretty jealous whoever, whoever loses this one. Juicy Lucy is a burger with cheese inside instead of on top. This involves two thin patties with a ball of American cheese inside. They seal the sides, throw it on the grill, and the cheese inside gets melty and gooey. Matt of Matt's Bar claims to have come up with this in 1954. The name Juicy Lucy was coined by the first customer. While there might be some debate about which South Minneapolis establishment first came up with this, there's no debate that this is unique, delicious, and absolutely a Minnesota staple. So here we have it. Matt's bar, this is the Juicy Lucy. Oh my God. <laughs> Nothing on this one here. Thank you, come on. He's had hot cheese inside of them, so be careful when you bite in, okay? Yeah. Little bites. You guys need anything else right now? This is the one, huh? Oh gosh. You gonna make it? Oh dude, it's dripping. Is it too hot or is it Piping good? Hot. Perfect. Eric hasn't said anything yet. I don't know if it's good or if it's really bad or he just can't speak. Dude, do you see this? It might be speechless. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh it's good. Oh, wow. That's unreal. That's so good. Just wait, just wait. It gets better. Keep biting. Keep, keep biting. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you gotta get to the center there. Oh! That's the goods. Dude, unreal. Stay tuned. We're going to the Excel Center right now. I'm John Maher from the Minnesota Wild. You guys are in the perfect spot because as everybody knows, Minnesota is the land of 10,000 lakes. That's great for fishing. It's great in the winter, they freeze up and it's 10,000 hockey rinks as well. Where you are today, XL Energy Center is the epicenter for hockey in Minnesota. It's for 75 years, this site has been the host of the State High School Hockey Tournament, uh, college hockey tournaments um, throughout the last 20 to 40 years and for the last 20 years, the Minnesota Wild in the NHL. So this is the place to be if you want to find hockey in Minnesota. We caught some good fish at Lake Minnetonka. We checked out Matt's and got the Juicy Lucy, such a good burger. Now we are here at the Excel Energy Stadium, the home of the Wild, and we're going to partake in our last portion of today's challenge. That being shooting a hockey puck in a goal. Never really done this before. Pretty interesting how this goes down. This is uh, going to determine who is the loser for today's Uncharted Challenge. You guys ready? So here's what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? You I should think, just wheel it. I think into you the... should be goalie okay. since you won today. Okay. You obviously I agree. won. That's why. So Perrick has 100 points. Weston has 150. I racked it. So exactly. So this is worth 100 points. Yeah. So yeah. it's just down to you two. Yeah. Basically. Okay. Yeah. So you're the goalie. I'll be the goalie. Okay. Decided. Perfect. Padded up right now. Protection is always, safety is always first here on Uncharted. Here we go. We're gonna alternate. Best five shots. 
Good luck. What? Hey! We ain't eating fish tonight. Scores 1 0. We're going for the second shot, y'all. Yes! Alright, uh, missed it. <laughs> Here's your boot. Eyes on the puck. Oh! <laughs> Don't worry, me! Perk almost sent that puck straight into traffic. You're a liability at all times. Alright, shot number three. It's in, baby. You only got a few more chances now, Perry. <laughs> oh, this is for shot three. I gotta make this. Here we go. Oh! That was it! That was it! That was it! That was it! That went in! We're gonna we're hey. It's okay. It went in. Okay, we'll call it. A, we'll, for, for the sake of okay. you, we'll count it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So the score is two to one. I can seal the deal right here. John, if you'll just scoot to the side for me real quick, I'm going for uh, shot number four. So we might have to go into overtime here if I miss, and AP gets his last shot. Let's see what happens. Oh wow, that was. Nice. Well, I'm surprised we've gone into overtime. I uh, thought Perry was going to lose this, but he made that last goal. Sealed his fate, or about to seal his fate. He's going to lose. <laughs> Pressure's on! If I miss this, I lose. If I make it, we go into OT number two. I didn't even wear pants. Oh, well, oh, man. I'm, the, I'm the ultimate loser today. I, Feels good to pass I lost the fishing. I lost the hockey. It's just been a bad day for me. Feels good to pass the losing baton on to somebody else here. You can have the losing baton now. Also, thanks to the uh, Minnesota Wild for letting us shoot out in front of their stadium. That was pretty awesome. This is such a good time spending some funny, quality moments with these boys here in Minnesota. Not only fishing, but just kind of experiencing culture. But this was good. I've never, uh, never been gold before. That was fun. It's just so bad. It's just so bad for you. It's so bad to eat. It's just, humans aren't meant to eat that. Like, it's just like, why do people make that? Imagine this plant. Like, this plant. Why are you in business? Ah, bah, bah. Okay. So, we are back where we started. Alex Perrick is the opposite of a victor. You are the loser, I hate to say this, but you did not come up top. You, you won one yesterday, you got one on me, I got hit in the shins. Now it's time for Perrick's punishment. They didn't have any uh, lutefisk, is that what it is? Lutefisk? So we've opted to uh, getting some some herring. This is fermented herring with, or with orange peels, <laughs> with orange peels, <laughs> cayenne <laughs> pepper. <laughs> cayenne pepper and capers. <laughs> Orange peels and capers is gross in itself, and then you put in fermented herring. So, Perrick. <laughs> All right, well, Perrick, that piece on top is calling your name. <laughs> no, can I have a smaller piece? No, of that's that? fine. Just grab that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks delicious. You gotta Why? swallow it. You gotta swallow it. Oh. It's orange peels and capers. All, you like capers? You like oranges? You know, you know how pissed I am right now at this company? Hey, you lost. <laughs> Why do you put this out there? Why? So Why? that we can buy it for Who you. Who buys this? You do. We did today. What, do you just eat this? Like, yeah. hey, let me go grab this off my shelf. Like, just when you're watching a TV show, when you're watching Grey's Anatomy or Friends, you grab this off the shelf and you just Who eat does it. this? You, eat it now. Go. We have a hurricane coming. Holy cow. Let's go. Oh, so gross. You can't spit it out either. Thanks for watching Uncharted. It's been a great time. I hate myself. I'm going to throw this up instantly, but... <laughs> Stay tuned. It's been fun. It's been real. I love you. Ah, here we go. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> <laughs> you got a solid.
<laughs> it just tastes so bad. <laughs> so bad. Nice. You killed it. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. It's been unreal.